Hello horror fans and boy have we got a good one for you today. Welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos, the place where we can't help but dive deep into the horrific world of horror cinema and see what silver screen creepers come crawling back out. What's going on guys? As always, I'll be your horror host Jack Finch as we rummage through the ancient reels, fire up the projector and take a look at the top 5 scary movies you need to pray before watching part 2. Roll the clip. The escaped inmates are eventually captured. Yeah. Amazingly, it is not illegal in Denmark to plan an escape or to flee prison. Guys, come on. I hear what you're saying in the comment section for our part one video, but it's just a figure of speech. Relax. And hey, if you find comfort in pleading for aid from a mystical cosmic deity, be it Thor, Pazuzu, Apollo, Diana, or the Mother Mary herself, then you do you. Every little helps. But make sure to be aware guys, one like for this video equals one prayer toward the cosmic abyss. So hit that thumbs up button and make sure to ding that subscribe bell so you can stay up to date with your daily dose of horror cinema. Goodness, damn, I just love this series. On with the show. Now, I made sure to scour your comments for part one of this video and there were some absolutely incredible suggestions that you offered, some of which I just can't cover in this video due to the nature of them. A Serbian film, cannibal holocaust, the cinematic stuff of nightmares that because of license well, we'll just generally avoid them. But, well, I hope this list takes things up a notch. Kicking off at number five, the people under the stairs. In the world, doing his business, God knows where. You kids will be the death of me. Damn straight, this film absolutely terrified me as a young little horror fan and most of the terror lies within the film's twisted plot. It's a thought that burrows into your head and keeps you wide awake at night. You never know who lives next door, eh? The People Under the Stairs, released in 1991, was written and directed by horror aficionado Wes Craven, the same mastermind that brought us classics such as Last House on the Left, The Hills Have Eyes and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now listen, I understand, this film might seem a little weak so but seriously, watch this film alone at night, let it sink in after a while and look out across your neighbourhood and tell me you don't feel that creepy sense of dread. It involves a young kid named Fool, played by the awesome Brandon Adams, who finds himself upon the strange, twisted house of the Robesons during a planned robbery. Well, they get a little bit more than what they bargained for, put it that way. Cannibals, incest, bodies in the wall, the psychological fear of deranged parents. This cult classic is definitely one to hit on your list. And the special effects, while dated now, are the stuff of horror nightmare nostalgia. Next up at number four, The Loved Ones. He's probably dead by now. Sensing a theme here? Yeah. I'm not saying this list is influenced by my own internal fears, but I'm also definitely saying that. The Loved Ones is a relatively unknown 2009 Australian horror film written and directed by Sean Byrne, who also recently delivered us The Devil's Candy, a fantastic horror film with a relatively unknown cast that deserves more acclaim. When I say that The Loved Ones is genuinely, genuinely terrifying, I really mean it, because somewhere out there, there is someone not so far removed from Lola and her dad and that spells true terror. It's a basic premise, but where it does deliver are in its small, horrific moments of well-timed violent gore and psychological back and forths. It stars Xavier Samuel as Brent, a high school teen who tragically lost his father, and Robin McLeavy, who has a father, but is messed the hell up. Both of who are actors who absolutely nail their roles and deliver some of the best indie horror performances that I've seen in recent years. Put it this way, imagine if Carrie and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre had a baby, then you'd get this film. Damn, I really don't want to ruin anything for you guys, but seriously, watch this film if you haven't. Also, this song. Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Will haunt your dreams. Thank me later. Now, coming in at number three, Martyrs. Regardez ses yeux. Celle-ci a été battue par son mari. Crise de jalousie, une démence imprévisible. Celle-là vient de passer 9 heures dans la carcasse de sa voiture. Cette jeune leucémie qui vit ses derniers oui, instants. Oui, oui. Again, the same with Wreck, which we covered in another recent video. Please, please, please watch the original French language version of this film and not the trashy 2015 remake. I'm all for a good remake, but 
That was just plain terrible. Anyway, Martyrs is a French psychological horror film released back in 2008 and written and directed by Pascal Logier, who unfortunately hasn't seemed to hit the mark since this titan of horror cinema was released. Seriously, I'd go so far as to say this is the scariest psychological thriller released this century. If that's not worth a watch, then I don't know what is. Martyrs covers some pretty serious ground and is incredibly unforgiving in its subject matter. It was also heralded as the most divisive film to screen at the Cannes Film Festival in the year that it premiered, indicating to audiences that they would either love it or be absolutely horrified. Again, I don't want to ruin a lot for you guys simply because if you haven't seen it, I don't want to take anything away of that awful, creeping sense of dread. This film gnaws at you all the way up until the end, where one of the most insanely horrifying reveals of horror cinema takes place. Give it a go, you'll soon find out what I mean. Swinging in at our number two spot. Funny Games. Now this is also another moment where I talk about remakes because there's a small twist to this reveal because I actually don't mind which version of this film you watch. In fact, watch both and enjoy them both equally because they're both fantastic different examples of horror cinema in their own right. Both versions of the film are written and directed by the same person and I'm fine with that. Personally I enjoy the 2007 American remake purely because Michael Pitt is a colossus of horror. Originally released in Austrian in 1997 and written and directed by the awesome Michael Haneke, Funny Games is a psychological thriller that pits a family against two young psychopaths. Stylistically speaking, this film is an absolute pleasure to watch, which adds to that strange feeling that the film inhabits. Things may look nice on the surface, but deep below, some terrifying stuff is happening. The plot involves two young men holding a wealthy family hostage in their own summer home, while torturing them and playing sadistic funny games. This film also deals with the audience in an interesting way, suggesting that we're almost complicit with their actions, subverting the genre in a way that horror cinema rarely pulls off. One of my favourite films of all time, go ahead and give it a watch. And finally at our number one spot, I Saw the Devil. Really, I did, because I saw this film. Because talking about subverting horror cinema, then like with most other things, South Korean cinema does it again. In 2010's I Saw the Devil. This film is absolutely terrifying for many reasons, but for one reason above all, it puts you in the shoes of the killer. And it's a strange, strange place to be. Directed by Kim Jean Woon, I Saw the Devil is the tale of a special detective as he embarks on the quest to avenge the death of his murdered wife at the hands of a brutal serial killer. And strangely enough, the film offers up enough space for us to begin to empathise with the killer, questioning the very integrity of the human mind. Don't tread into this film lightly because there is some seriously handled violent content that may take you unaware and some absolutely breathtaking special effects effects, really breathtaking, that give you that classic holy sh what the hell did we just watch moment. It's a fantastic horror film and a testament to just exactly what the genre can do under the correct circumstances. Give it a watch, you won't be disappointed. Anyway guys, that's my list. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment box down below and let me know what some of your favourite horror films are and hopefully we'll be heading into a part three of this awesome series. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, remember one like equals one prayer and hit that subscribe bell to stay up to date with our latest and greatest uploads. Tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of horror. As always, I've been your host Jack Finch, you've been watching top 5 scary videos and until next time, you take it easy.